Welcome to the second episode of Sunday Stand Up, where I explain software engineering concepts, summarize technical books, give startup and career advice, or review cool developer tools in three minutes or less, just like a real stand up. And in today's episode, I will talk about the book Understanding Distributed Systems by Roberto Vitillo and why it should be the first book you read on distributed systems or systems design in general. I often find that most books dive right into the heart of some complex topics around distributed systems, which can overwhelm you if you aren't experienced enough. A common book people read is Designing Data Intensive Applications by Martin Kleppman. While the Red Book is an amazing book in its own right, the concepts are too advanced for someone new to distributed systems. Advanced consistency models and quorum algorithms for distributed transactions can be overwhelming even for folks who have worked in the field for a while. However, this book bridges the gap between I've never worked outside a monolithic application and I'm quite seasoned at scalable systems perfectly. It is simple and concise enough that you can finish the whole book in a flight from Seattle to New York, but at the same time, it also provides a wealth of information that you can not only digest easily, but also use as a stepping stone to build upon with other more advanced books. Understanding distributed systems is divided into five parts. Communication, coordination, scalability, resiliency, and testing. I love this ordering because this is almost the exact order you follow when creating a new distributed application. The first step is to understand how distributed systems work or why they're even needed. At a very basic level, they're essentially a set of geographically separated nodes that are responsible for sharing information over the network. So it is critical to understand how communication works over a network, what a network stack is and what happens at each level. Once you understand that, you can start building systems that communicate effectively over a network. However, as you add more and more nodes to your system, you will need to coordinate that communication. And that is exactly what part two is about. In this section, the author explains how you detect failures in your system, how you handle replications, algorithms for selecting the primary nodes, various consensus algorithms, and finally, how you can perform transactions over a distributed system, which builds to the third part of the book, scalability. This is arguably the most important part of building a distributed system, to handle scale. In this section, the author talks about patterns to achieving scalability, things like microservices, APIs, messaging, partitioning, replication, caching, and load balancing. However, a distributed system that can handle scale but is unreliable isn't any good. And that is what the fourth section of this book is about, resiliency. In this section, the author talks about single points of failure, circuit breakers, retry patterns, rate limiting, and much more. Basically what we refer to as upstream and downstream resiliency. And finally, the last part of the book is all about testing and operations, where you learn about how testing is different for distributed systems, and also about continuous integration and delivery, as well as monitoring, which is critical for distributed applications. All in all, this is an amazing book. It gives you just enough information where you get a decent idea about what the distributed systems world is all about and just enough information that you can use to build your knowledge in the field. So I highly recommend this book. If you want to get a copy for yourself, the link will be in the description below. And before we go, a quick word from today's sponsor, FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot has been active in the office furniture market for 20 years now. The experience they've gathered over these years has helped position them as one of the top manufacturers of ergonomic furniture with unique and innovative designs. For example, this bamboo top standing desk from their EC5 series offers an enhanced structure and an advanced lifting system to not only ensure quiet operation, but also to boost the loading capacity as well as maximize stability even at the highest height setting. The mature bamboo top for this desk is highly flexible and has a tensile strength of 28,000 pounds per square inch, making it one of the strongest, most durable pieces of furniture in your home. You can also program your favorite desk heights right from the convenient control panel, which lets you assign up to three different desk heights to the memory button so you can easily switch between standing and sitting positions. So if you like this desk or are just looking for other ergonomic furniture for your home or your office, visit the link in the description below to check out a huge range of high quality options that FlexiSpot offers. That's all I had for today. Check out some of these other videos while you're here. Thanks for staying till the end. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.